It's not. But we're back, and hopefully the save game should be okay. I thought we were more higher up on the highway, but I guess we'll see. Uh, wholesale post. Sacred figures and symbols of Dastrinity, including St. Dast himself, have become the targets of vandalism as protests continue across Swordland. What initially began as a protest against, against the murder of Bernard... Are they still protesting the murder of Bernard Circus? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Well, he's, he was a beloved guy. He was, but yeah, just let him let him go. <laughs> like, even if rioters are successful in removing the images of Saint Dest or Tarquin's soul from parts of society, this will only serve to strengthen our faith and our political will," said Curtin Lest, mayor of the worst hit cities, Enrica. Okay. So who is the Saint Das? That's a new name, I don't That is a new for. name, yeah. Das Trinity is one of the two main branches of Nurity. Uh, okay. Turn of traditions. To the traditions of the path of enlightenment and strict following of the teachings of Saint Das, which they believe is the un unadulterated cure for modernity. Practically, Das Trinists or to directly rely on the Saint Das teachings and the eleven pillars of Nurity, which, uh, while ignoring the rest of Nurity's teachings, the key theme in Dastru that Dastrinist? thing, Dastrinist thought, yeah. is the importance yeah. of avoiding impurity. Right. Why don't you impurity? Uh, perform rite purification with aid of priests in Dastrinist sanctuaries. One of the holy sites of Dastrinus is Archangel Dissension in Deir. Okay. It's almost like someone's hmm? got a sniper rifle and he's targeting the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does. The Lack Haven Times. Over to you. Oh. Explosion in Deir. Three killed, 22 wounded. Okay. A bomb attack on a police station. In Dyer has killed three officers and injured 22 others, officials say. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. The police of Dyer said militants from the British Freedom Front, BFF, were likely behind the, likely behind the attack and reported that several militants also fired at the officers as they tried to escape the fires of the explosion in the treacherously pre-planned ambush. That sucks. There has been a wave of unrest in Swordland for the last couple of months. Oh yeah, we know. So these attacks seem to suggest that the racial tensions in Persia has increased to very dangerous levels, which raises questions about how their situation should be handled. The Workers' Party of Bludia has condemned the incident, adding that the BFF does not reflect the views and culture of the British people. Marquesia has called on both sides to avoid violence, but stresses that Swordland has a right to defend itself against attacks by British rebels. Interesting. Okay. Interesting to have Arcasia on side. Yeah, but we're on good terms with Arcasia, aren't we? I'm not even least, sure. Or at least neutral. <laughs> we, I'm not even sure anymore. Uh, Richter calls President to action. What's this one? Uh, head of Sodan's main opposition party, People's Freedom and Justice Party, PFCH, Franz Richter, has said President Reign needs to address issues like term limits and electoral threshold if Sodan's democracy, freedoms, and economy were to be developed. Richter also talked about the need for educational reforms and expressed his support for Minister of Education Clara Alda. I don't, I don't like this this bitch. She's a bit of an extremist. Uh, Debt Nation, okay, is in a tough spot. Well, we have put ourselves in a bit of a tough spot, but we'll bounce back, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah, de 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah, we, we totally got this. Right, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, mm. it's just a little bit of a minus three, that's all. It's all, it's okay. <laughs> uh, the Economists. Economy slowly recovering. Thanks to President Reign's well-thought-out policy decisions, since the beginning of his term, 
the recession has finally slowed down last month, showing signs wow. of a recovery. But make no mistake, Swordland is still in the danger zone. The past several weeks have uh, brought lots of mixed views, uh, or mixed news, uh, in Swordland. But good news came particularly from several regions hitting the pre-recession output numbers. Thousands of people returning to work and swordish citizens getting out and spending more. Policies the president enacted like the business bailout program provided much needed relief for businesses affected by the recession and brought swords back to work. Well, that's that's kind of good. That is actually good news, yeah. That's the best news we've had in a while. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Geopolitico, over to you. Okay, so Valslandia Navy forces Agnolian drill ship to retreat from Helgeland. Yeah, okay, it's this island over here. So, Helm, Valsland. Navy Chief Admiral Kurt Hexter on Tuesday said an Agnolian drilling ship was driven away from Valsland's exclusive economic zone in the Ner Nermanlander Sea recently. Asserting that such activities will be dealt with swiftly and sternly. The ship entered the area without the Icelandian Navy's prior permission, they said. The illegal occupation of Helgeland does not give Agnolia the right to claim the sea. Our stance has been that if you do anything in our region, you have to notify us to take our permission. The Navy chief said as a press conference without elaboration further on the incident. Since 19th, wait a minute. This isn't the active news. The active news is the. But well, it should be near the top. Although now we've got. Two, okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. those are the are the new pieces of news. Yeah, it should be near I, the top. I had a I had a flash of recognition from what I was reading. Hmm. Smolak condemns Caucasian soldiers in Lesbia. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so Raklovitz Valen. Vesic President Viktor Smolak on Thursday criticized the Lesbian government for bringing Arcasian soldiers close to the border of Wayland. Last month, Prime Minister Alvarez and President Walker agreed on the construction of several military bases in Lesbia that would station ATO soldiers. With the arrival of the first Arcasian soldiers to Lesbia this week, Wayland's stance has become increasingly hostile. Mm. Okay. In his speech on Thursday, Smolak said, President Walker has succeeded in spreading Arcasian imperialism to eastern Mercopa, which will have consequences for every one of us in the region. NATO is clearly expanding its influence in our region using Lesbia. We must be careful, said President Smolak, warning the neighboring nations of Magnolia and Sortland to be prepared for future crises. Oh dear. <sighs> ah, refugees. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it worked out worked out very well last time, right? I guess, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, I guess it's much the same. So Lesbia is um, somewhere down here, right? Yeah. Okay. Lesbia. And... Valen. Yeah. Or Valen, I guess. I don't know. It's weird though. Haven't played, we weird. haven't heard anything from Rumberg for a while. No, it seems like, like like they've calmed down a bit. But I mean, their relationship is neutral to us, so as a member of NATO, right? Well, they they're supposed to be the good guys, right? <laughs> like if they're part of NATO. <laughs> Right now, the only good guys we know are us. Yeah, I guess. Uh, what kind of uh, relations do we have with uh, Wayland? Or Valen? Well, yeah, with Wayland. Um, also neutral. Neutral. Okay. And these guys... Bad. <laughs> Military overwhelming still. Uh, what about these guys? We, we're on pretty good terms with them, right? Okay. Yep. I do believe both of them, actually. Neutral. Okay. Mm. Okay, Ooh. so 
at least uh, at least neutral isn't bad, so there is that. So we basically only have one bad neighbor relations. So yeah, that's Romberg. Romberg, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dyer, let's have a look. Read the report. Okay. Yeah, in the trenches are attack, the BFF has bombed a police station. Yeah, okay, so we've read, th read that in the news, that's fine. Uh, what do we want to do, the highway first, or Lenkerg? I kind of want to know what, what's up with the highway, because we haven't heard about news about that for a long time as well, haven't we? Uh, who knows, let's have a look. Discussion of changes to the tax system, okay. okay so it wasn't about the highway. Or, okay. ah, that's... That's the highway. That's okay. <laughs> well, let, let's let's uh, go highway first because I, I want to know where we stand on that. Okay, the H three highway construction created a second opportunity to visit the seaside town of Lenkerg, known for its salmon. Thousands of people from the city were employed for construction work by the new highway project, but the main purpose of our visit was to resolve the strike that had begun to endanger the deadline. The mayor welcomed us at his own mansion and took us on a brief tour in the city. We gathered in at the city. <coughs> Simon looked a little worried, but uh -oh. Lilius was dead serious. There also was a message of support from the mayor of Arvory, Eric Neal, who was grateful for the H3 investments. After dinner, we moved to a meeting <coughs> room. Simon began. Uh oh, <coughs> Taurus Holdings! Has reached Ex out to Ex us That's awesome. <laughs> and requested more funds. More funds. <laughs> Fuck's sake. As per the report they have sent, to finish the highway on time, they realised more capital is necessary due to new labour laws. You gotta do the voice, Dave. <sighs> we scheduled the construction to finish sooner, but Taurus Holding might miss the target with the current trajectory. Oh, okay. This is unacceptable! <laughs> I should have known that a cheap offer wasn't technically possible. We would have this issue if you decided to go with SSC instead of TORS. Yeah, but SSC I thought we thought were corrupt. Yeah, yeah. because they didn't have the... Um, the knowledge. Uh, work, yeah, with the worker protection. Right? That's right, yeah. Okay, now they are requesting more funds. No. Now they are requesting more funds to be able to cover the increased costs. If we do not provide, we could face a delay, which would endanger our reputation. I don't mind a delay if it stops us going into minus four for budget. <laughs> okay, so what do we have? I do not permit incompetence. That's kind of harsh, but mm. fair. Why do they even need the extra money? Of the labor laws. It is important that we finish this project on time. Money is no matter. Kind of is if we're at minus four. Uh... <sighs> yeah, but this is a. Uh, uh, let's see. We scheduled construction to finish soon. It might miss a target for the current trajectory. Uh, cheap offer wasn't technically possible. So it doesn't really say why they need the money. Well, I thought they said they, they need. Oh, because, because of the new labor laws. Because, okay. Yeah, yeah. PPE, you know? Got to get those guys yeah. PPE and it costs money. Um, and not to mention probably maternity leave and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they have pregnant uh, women working on the highway. That is absolutely Well, true. every first world country should have pregnant women working on the highway. <laughs> Breaking their backs. Um no. I think being pregnant is breaking your back enough. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Um, okay, so I don't permit incompetence. Hasn't anything to do with the reason why they need money. It's because of the new labor laws. So yeah. it's not based on incompetence. Uh, so I mean, we I could ask why. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they might go into more detail if we. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually hoping that as well. Okay. They needed for unforeseen expenses that came from the new workers' rights bill. A couple shipment companies they had contracts with, that should be contracts with, also increased costs on necessary materials. 
Hmm. The state must have more control over these construction projects. For the next project, we should appoint a direct manager from the cabinet. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is for certain, our administration must avoid working with towers for the future and opt for safe choices like SSC. Yeah, I mean, st stuff overruns all the time. Um... Yeah, mistakes do happen. Yeah, but I don't think SSC really a mistake, is though, a better I mean. option because we chose Torah specifically because yeah. they care about their workers. Exactly, so... It's not really a mistake, though. But Underhaul could be a part of it. No, I mean... No, that's a reason why we skipped the other two. So I, I'm probably going number one that mistakes, yeah. they do happen, no matter how much you try and guard against it. Maybe, but we could also avoid this issue. There were warning signs around towers all along. No, they wasn't. They, they were fine. Will we sink more money into this or let them figure it out? Oh, we have to let them figure it out. What is your decision, Mr. President? <laughs> we don't have the funds. Sorry, this will likely cause a delay, but Taurus Holdings will be informed immediately. Yeah, good. Well, a delay might even cut us more in the long end. Perhaps, but I mean, at the same time, you know, market's the market. Yeah, we agreed on a price. We did. But then again, the loss changed, so that's why they need more money. So that's basically, true. we actually cause the need for more money. Exactly, but we're not going to chuck more money at it. No, that since, we're, as you said, we're already at minus three, so yeah. yeah. I have no expectations of hitting that opening deadline at this point. Regardless, the decision has been made. Well then, thank you for coming. This is all that's on the matter. Okay. Uh... Yeah, enjoy the hospitality of the mayor. Might as well. I don't know, it sounds a bit corrupt, doesn't it? We're here to enjoy hospitality. I'll I just say. Well, he did invite us. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Let's do that. That, that I'm intending he, to do. He, he likes a little bit of a party, doesn't he? He looks he looks like he's almost gunning for to be president himself one day. A secret heavy drinker. Yeah, maybe when his voice breaks. Who knows? <laughs> when his voice breaks. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, tax system. Okay. Oh, God. We are at the top floor of the business council building. Which had a great view of the beautiful Lack Haven. I looked outside from the tall glass windows. The Markian Sea stretched as far as the eye could see, and it was dotted with many ships towards the horizon. That means the economy's picking up. They're all mo mostly cargo ships carrying precious goods in and out of Swordland. That's good. Tracing back the paths of the ships, I looked at the harbour. Black Haven was home to one of the largest harbours in the entire continent. Many dockyard workers were loading or unloading the containers. Worked never stopped. Okay, the door opened. Simon was back, as was Mikhail and Edith. And they Mikhail, all... I don't remember him. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Mr. President. I don't know who she is, I can't remember. So CBS. Swedish so economist, blah blah blah, okay. So, Mr. President, so nice to see you again. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. <laughs> President! <laughs> yeah, uh, it's great to see you all again, especially you, Simon. <laughs> You're my favourite. <laughs> yeah, we, we like Simon. <laughs> uh, Simon put down his bag on the table and started collecting his documents while the others slowly took to their seats. Mr. President, before we start, I would like to mention some rumors that I heard. Workers' Rights Act did not sit well with many business holders, Ugh. especially the first section about the minimum wages. Oh, terrible. I heard the same. This has caused these businesses to lose millions of rents just overnight. Unfortunately, really, especially during a recession. Uh, uh, what is unfortunate was that the bill was enacted this late. You are in no position to question my decision. Yikes. Yeah. 
I don't care about the rumors. If someone wants to say something, they can say it to me directly. Well, I mean, it was about time that workers had rights, so done. Yes, yes, unfortunately, it was enacted this late. Yeah. Um, yeah, either one or three, because two is... Nah, we're not, we're not tyrants. Yeah. Neither of them responded. Simon waited patiently. Once everyone was ready, he adjusted his glasses. First of all, I would like to thank everyone here for their work on our tax system reform. We all know how complicated our current system is, and this work wouldn't be possible without you. He turned to me. The ultimate goal here is to end the recession. Before we move ahead and start formulating a plan, we need to determine our direction, Mr. President. Okay. We have few possibilities as a result of the work we have done so far. We increase, maintain, or decrease the taxes for large corporations. I believe some of us in the room have a few strong opinions about this. In parallel, we can increase, maintain, or decrease the taxes for small and medium businesses. Let's start on the large corporations. Ugh. What are we going to do? <laughs> Straining your voice? Yeah. No, I'm... Uh... Okay, so we have large in one section. And then we have small and medium in the next. Yeah. Okay. So large corporations will probably have offices in more country than just ours, meaning that they could take a tax hit. The way I see it. Yes, but the thing is, if they're big employers, then you hit with more taxes, then you could be ending up with uh, an increase in unemployment. Yeah, but what I, what I see is this is basically, say, Apple or McDonald's or whatever it may be. Yeah. So if they take a, a, a tax increase in one country, but not in all the others, hmm. then it's not going to affect them as much. But if you go to small and medium businesses, like, say, Monica's flower arrangement, yeah, they are probably going to go under if, if we increase. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to increase small. I mean, I, I'm pretty much... We could just keep it the same. You know, keep the status quo. No one can... Although, what did we promise to do? I can't remember what our thing was. Uh, Ugh, our manifesto. No idea. Um, if I remember correctly, we were going to increase the taxes for the bigger players, as in wealthy people, big corporations. Were we though? Were we though? I can't remember. Um, okay. Let's, let's... Uh, and, and either retain or lower it for small businesses to help them thrive better. Okay. Is there That's any a... downs? Let's, let's ask to uh, let's ask first if there's any downsides to keeping things as they are. Or do you want to see what the outcome of increasing would be? Uh, um... That depends. Are we leaning against increasing? Because if we are, the outcome would probably be more interesting. Or maybe because uh, we know from history that if we ask one question, that's sometimes all we get. We haven't. Uh, no, I think, every, I think every every time have they able to to get uh, answers to all of them, all our questions. I, th I thought this would be more of like a report situation. So I think we had the option to get everything. But I mean, which way are you leaning to, to, to go first? Well, being a Swede, I am actually wanting to increase tax. Tax for... everybody! <laughs> no, for large corporations. And either keep, uh, keep the taxes where they are or maybe even uh, decreasing it for small and medium businesses. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's. Shall we find out what what will happen? Yeah. Let, let, let's let's just go top and then downwards. Oh, okay. See what happens. Simply put, if we increase the taxes, we will have more government budget to spend, which may come in handy. On the other hand, it's not directly helping us revitalize the economy. Yeah. Our government is already in debt. This might be a way to get out of that debt. Okay. I do believe there is one way to get out of the recession. 
It is the, the trade and economic contribution of large corporations. Increasing their taxes will turn that on you. Yeah, that's right. It might, might make them leave. I will go a step further. Increasing their taxes will have disastrous results, and it will make you an enemy of them. Trust me, Mr. President. Nobody wants to make an enemy of them. Yeah. It goes both ways. <laughs> Here we go. Of course. Uh, oh, so you do get more. Okay, so yeah. what if we... Yeah, keep things as they are. I am of the opinion that if we do not make any changes, nothing will change. To stop the recession, we need to do something. Okay. I think so too. Agreed. Ugh. So what if we decrease it? Because we might as well get the opinions yeah, of, uh, yes. of all three uh, actions. It's not an option at this point. Our state is broke. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was easy enough. Yeah, we are barely functioning to keep uh, to help. Of, yeah, okay, I see. Um, Could balance it by increasing taxes. No, no, no. I see. Okay. Well, I know what these two will say. Decrease. Or even keep it the same. He, he'll probably say it needs to be increased. Yeah, because we, we can't decrease it. No. So they're basically saying uh, that that we should keep it as it is. I don't think we can do anything at this point. Although I would have preferred a decrease in taxes, it doesn't seem to be possible. <clears throat> Our international trade is driven mostly by the products of these corporations. They are the backbone of our economy. Exactly. The increase should be out of the question. These companies are the backbone of our economy and our way out of the recession. I'm ready to make a decision. Here we go. Very well. Right. Maintain okay, so the taxes. I, I, I kind of feel like we actually do need to increase the taxes because of them not liking us. No, because because, what, because, because that, what, once we get the economy up and running again, we can probably decrease it uh, again. But at the same time, there's no guarantee that you know if you increase taxes. I mean, what you want is for businesses to have more cash so they can maybe even offer better pay and uh, even hire more people. But they should also help the country they're in out of the recession. That, that, that yeah, but the thing is, you can't tax your way out of a out of a recession. It, it's, it doesn't, in this it doesn't game, ever work. In this game, you can. <laughs> <laughs> but it would think maybe in the short term, but not in the long term. Because yeah, the way I see it, uh, we tax the big big companies a little bit more, mm -hmm. uh, thereby stimulating our economy. And once our economy is up and running and rising and becoming more stable, we can decrease it. Taxes. We might not get to decrease it. So I, I think we no, should just maintain it. We, we don't it. know. We don't know, no. I think we should just maintain it. I think we should just maintain, keep the status quo. So you think we should increase the tax on small and medium businesses then? No, no. I think we should just... Uh, Keep, keep okay. the tax so, rates as they are. Okay, so if we keep taxes as uh, they are, then I'm quite interested to hear your idea of actually stimulating the economy if nothing changes. Well, but you can't stimulate an economy through through taxation. That's... Then how else are you supposed to do it? The, well, that, I mean, cause, the, cause, cause a classic tax, economist... Taxes is the income of the state. It, it is, but the thing is, a state doesn't get you out of a recession necessarily. I mean, the, the state makes policies, sure. But the thing is, what you want is for people to have more money so they can spend on goods. So then it, it you know, that money flows to businesses so they can make more goods. If it all goes to the state and the state doesn't buy anything, it just wastes it all. On well, since, since we're going to use the income and tax money from big businesses to stimulate the economy, allowing us to spend more on behalf of the companies. It won't necessarily stimulate the economy. We might get a windfall for the short term, but we need to think long term. Because if you tax too much, then the economy stagnates anyway. 
because well, because that, that money that money could go into research and development to make it more efficient and uh, and stuff like that. Well, uh, considering that we are minus three budget right now, I'm gonna <laughs> assume that we don't have much money to do either of the things that you were just talking about no. as things are right now. Mm. Meaning that we do need more money coming in so we can actually do it. We do. We do. And that, that would be to, in this case, tax large corporations. I don't think that's a good idea in the long term. But hopefully it won't be a long term because the highway should be completed yeah. pretty soon. Meaning that the economy will get a boost from that. Hopefully. And, that, and then we can hopefully uh, decrease... The taxes on on large corporations. I, I, I don't. Once that well, yeah, but we not we might not get another option to decrease. And even so, like you know, I, I don't know. I don't think we should mess with these guys. Yeah, they're they're saying that if they're almost hinting that if you increase the taxes, then they're just going to go somewhere else, and then you've got an unemployment crisis. I think. So we should, either, I think so we, either just we do nothing and, and get no money. Yes. Or. <laughs> I think we it's the same option. Increase taxes, get a short burst of money, and then get nothing. I think it's the safer option if we just maintain taxes the way they are. Listen okay. to Simon. <laughs> now, in, that, in that case, I want all the viewers to recognize that I suggested that we increase taxes, and Dave says keep it as it is. So if it, so if if, it's, if the game tanks because <laughs> you said don't raise taxes on large corporations, it's on your head. Okay. Maintain the taxes. This will not change anything. <laughs> Don't gain anything by standing while still where we are. I protest against this. Well, at least I didn't raise them, you bloody bitch. Enough. The president has made his choice. There we go, Simon. Always talking sense. Well then, I have taken a note of our action and I will put it to implementation as soon as possible. Simon opened his briefcase and swapped out the stack of papers he had in front with another stack. Let's move on to small and medium businesses. <laughs> Tax cuts. <laughs> and then we can have more okay. small and medium businesses and then everyone can be in employment. It'll be fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with your assessment, but... It is your game, you control the mouse, no, so it's our game. nothing about it's it. It's our game. Uh, this is the... Yeah, okay. So, what what is, uh, so yeah, let's start from top and go down as usual. Yeah, okay. So, what's our come if we increase taxes? They are the backbone of our economy, and they are comprised of mostly regular people. If we start demanding more money from them in taxes, it might cause the public to harbour ill will towards the government. On the other hand, we need to get out of debt one way or another. This can be a solution for sure. <laughs> okay. I think increasing taxes for these smaller corporations is a good way to earn oh, some extra capital. What a bitch. So that the government can give it back to the people in due time. What a bitch. In the long run, increasing the taxes for small and medium businesses would have made people happy with the service the government provides. Hmm. Yeah, oh, they need their hard-earned money. They do. There we go. What if we decrease? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not a possibility. Our state is broke. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, same thing again. I'm ready to make uh. a decision. I think we just need to keep it, keep it, keep the status quo. Because we're not, we're, we're not going to raise it because we need no. small businesses as well. Exactly. There we go. It's the same thing again. Well then, thank you everyone. That will be all for us today. Oof. Enjoy that game. <laughs> sure. I decided to stay a bit longer. I went to the windows again and kept watching the sea in silence for some time. Okay. Oh. Well, the news. The Lackhaven Times. Young Swords denies allegations. The Vice President of the Young Swords Cultural Centres made an announcement today denying having ties to terror attacks. 
I or our cultural organization pose no threat to the national security of Swordland or to any other foreign country or state, he said. We have not and do not plan in engaging in acts of terror or violence. He also denied uh, that the murder of Bernard Circus was one working for the Young Swords, saying that the murderer was just a lost patriot who probably worked alone. The Vice President said he believes authorities misunderstood his expressed desire to be a martyr for Sardland, which has written in uh, the entrance of his office. Young Swords is not a terrorist organisation and will not bow to fake ac accusations without any evidence, he said, blaming a whole organisation for the actions of one individual who was allegedly a member is absurd. Torren Hill School wins award. The national school ranking rankings have announced their results for 1955 uh, school metrics. Surprisingly, in the category of primary and secondary education, the Torren Hill School has surpassed all others with the highest average results achieved in the student performance. Discipline, facilities, hygiene and staff happiness categories. Okay. The NSR committee gave an award to the principal. Education experts believed that the principal and the head teachers excelled in taking responsibility for their duties, which led to better performance in many aspects. Upon closer inspection, the Lackhaven Times editorial team found out about how much delegation occurred in the staff that even included diligent teenagers to improve and maintain operations of the school. Okay, kind of like a mentorship program. Yeah, so our investment in the school actually, actually paid off. It looks like it. The Radical. Red Youth Calls for Peace. Earlier today, Johann Gashmik, one of the leaders of the Red Youth, spoke to the public and condemned the opportunistic looting and violence taking place in cities across Sordon, saying it is not being done in the name of Bernard Circus. He denied terrorist allegations and condemned the attacks, saying that Red Youth has no connection to the violence. He accused the police of trying to sway the public opinion against socialism and illegal malian Malenyevist group such as the Red Youth. Some people are trying to incite violence and take away the meaning of these peaceful protests, said Gashmik, warning the protesters about inside people trying to exploit the situation. He also called for peace, saying that the justified and meaningful protests have already lost their course and started benefiting a select group of people. Okay, Geopolitico. Smolak threatens new military incursions targeting the BFF. Okay, no, that's that's old news. No, because it is... Oh, yeah, it's in black. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh... So, Raklovitz of Valen. Mm -hmm. The president, uh, Viktor Smolak, has threatened to launch military operations in northern Valen, close to the borders of Sorland and Lesbia, against the British rebel group, the BFF, which Raklovitz consider a terrorist organization. In a television interview to curry support for the next month's referendum to extend his presidential powers, Smolak announced that the military is preparing a new internal operation with possible cross-border implications against the BFF. Oh dear. Observers point out that a tough stance against the BFF, which is fighting for minority rights, plays well with valent nationalists. Smolak has pledged to eradicate the British groups in Wayland, the Democratic Party of Wayland, and the militant organization, the British Freedom Front. He's getting rid of the known, Democracy Party. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Which is known to operate both in Wayland and Sordland extensively. Such operations are fraught with military risks and the possibility of further exasperation. Exasperation. <sighs> Exacerbating. Thank you. Already tense relations among neighbours, particularly with Sordland, due to the large number of British minority living close to the borders, as well as the arcasia backed Lesbia. Despite such risks, some analysts don't rule out such a military operation. Ooh. Oh dear. So, cross-border... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Jay? Oh dear. Uh, oh, we've got something in Lyran. I don't think we've ever been there. Visit and inspect the schools of Lyran. Okay. As part of the planned program, we arrived in Lyran to visit a middle school. The prestigious Torrens Hill School was situated close to the suburbs just outside the city centre. The building was flanked by two hills, each beautifully dotted with shrubs and flowers. Cool. Lucian, Kaya and I got out of our cars and <coughs> met at the entrance. Our presence had not gone unnoticed, apart from our guards. There were at least ten reporters following us around. Ten? Ugh! What a flop. <laughs> yeah. That must be the principal. Right this way, sir. The principal was a man of short stature with a bushy moustache and a pair of glasses. He approached us quickly, but was stopped by the security guards. They started patting him down and searching him. <laughs> Makes sense. That won't be necessary as a teacher. No, wait for the defense. <laughs> no, okay, that won't be necessary. Yeah, we should shake his hands. Not give him a cavity search. Mr. President, <laughs> such an honor to meet you. <laughs> Why do you make him sound so sleazy? <laughs> Shake it down and smile for the cameras. Uh, are we going to pose? I, 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 yeah, I guess. I yeah. Guess. I, guess. I mean, they won, they won an award for fuck's sake. We shook hands and turned around to smile at the cameras. Reporters instantly snapped a few photos. Welcome to our humble school. <laughs> he doesn't look... He looks like a gentleman. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> it, I'm sorry about the security guards. It's standard procedure. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you, believe, you must be Mr. Gallade. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you, Miss Walter. <laughs> so good of you to come all the way out here. <laughs> Thank you. At the entrance, the school's motto was inscribed on the wall in giant letters. Estreten sis er engenica av geregina. Geregna? Geregna. Mm -hmm. Int alla almagon volten. <laughs> Int alla maxis. <laughs> Education is a premise of progress <laughs> in all societies, in all families. <laughs> <You're> fucking weird. <laughs> we talked through the. We walked through the gates. <laughs> no, we talked as well. And we talked about many things. Uh, there were many students lined up in front of the stairs to the main building. The school band started playing as we entered. All of the students immediately snapped to attention and turned to me. Looks more like a military institution than a school. Exactly. That's what we pride ourselves on. Discipline has the most utmost importance in our school. Yeah, some discipline never hurt anyone. Um, we need more educated people, not soldiers. If he gets Very results. Good. If he gets some results, discipline. it's all good for me. Yeah, some discipline never hurt anyone. I mean, yeah. We all get that in school, right? Kyra bristled. Oh dear, she doesn't like that because she's a commie. Right. Um... Up to a point, perhaps. Look at these kids. I can assure you that our students uh, are very well educated. In fact, our school is one of the top ten middle schools in the entirety of Sortland. And you should be patted on the back for that. Now... We'll watch the students take their daily student oath. Boy and a girl went up to the stage and grabbed their microphones. The students turned to them. This is actually this is yeah very um. Wow. I'm a sword. <laughs> my strength lies in my blood. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, I uh, I will respect our honourable elders and I will protect the young. My life belongs to Sortland now, and it will belong to it forever! I will always follow the guiding light. 
of Colonel Saul and the Great Swords. Ooh, okay, yeah. Interesting. And Morgna Westcore, Victurn's sister. Oh, we'll clap. <laughs> uh, uh, do we want to clap yes. something that basically sounds like indoctrination? Nazism! <laughs> no. Um, I, I just... I, I mean, I, I, I mean, we're not clapping for what they're saying. We're clapping for their achievements. How about that? We can do that. No, um... Well, we do have reporters around, so... Yeah. Yeah, if, 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 if we question about it later, we say, look, we're clapping for their achievements, not how they did it. Uh, uh, yeah. Let, let's just hope the viewers see us the same way. You watch, there'll be a bomb in, in, in another city somewhere <laughs> by next session. Well, that is basically how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um... Yeah, we'll clap. We'll just clap. I started clapping loudly. Everyone in everyone joined. There we go. I almost forgot the words. Which proves the uselessness of this oath. No one even remembers it after they graduate. If you wish to follow me, we will take a look at one of our classrooms. <laughs> Through the hallways, we made our way to classroom 7A. As soon as I entered, the whole classroom rose up and snapped to attention. Jesus, this is, sounds more and more like Ooh. a total indoctrination extremist. It is. It's, it's, it's the it's the Hitler Youth. Um, sit down, not at ease, because that kind of yeah, just reinforces the, <laughs> the military camp. The students sat down. The same boy and girl walked up to us. These are our top students and our top class. This here is my son. Okay, he's been feeding him the answers. Uh, mm. The boy came well, before right. me and saluted me like a military officer. Oh, no. Tell Mr. President what you want to be. I want to be a general. <laughs> yeah, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, I want to be a general. Sir, I am ready to sacrifice myself for my country and you, sir. Jeez. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, 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 either one or three, but I kind of feel like number one is becoming more and more urgent. Uh, what, are, what are you teaching to these students? Let's not embarrass yeah. the man. Let's not embarrass the man. This is his school in front of his son. Let's not... Let's yeah, but, I mean, a boy, I'm willing to sacrifice myself? What the hell? Uh, yeah, but at the same time... At that age, you're supposed to be playing out of the mud and eating bugs, for fuck's sake. Well, I mean, at the same time, we can say, for, as a politician, I will do whatever I can not to let that happen. Yeah, as long as you don't, you don't choose number two. You don't have to sacrifice two. yourself there, there, little boy. As long as you don't choose number two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. There we go. There, there, that's, that's the diplomatic thing to say. Um, the principal squeezed his son's shoulders and the boy mm, looked of course and smiled did. to his father. He patted him on the back and sent him off to his seat. The cameras mm. flashed. This is simply ridiculous. You're raising soldiers here, not students. I am so sorry. I will immediately perform disciplinary, disciplinary actions. actions. Oh, jeez. How about you, young lady? What do you think about this? I want to be a brigadier. She's <laughs> our top student in this school. Her excellent grades are too... I didn't ask you. There we go. She went down and gently addressed the young student. What do you think about your school, just between us girls? I... I'm sick of having to knit and sew while the boys learn science and chemistry. Oh, okay. I'm smarter than all of them. Why do I have to take these stupid handcraft classes? Oh, okay. Shh. Do you, uh, do you know who you're talking to? Oh. Shut up! 
Let her speak. Kyra's presence had emboldened the girl. She went on. My math and reading scores are the best in the school, but they won't let me take the classes I want just because I'm a girl. I want to be a scientist, not some soldier's wife. Good on you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm feeling number one, to be honest. I'm, I'm, no, let's not embarrass the man. There's this press. We just, yeah, we, but we have to say we, we need more people like you in this country. This cut is encouraging her, but keeping it diplomatic. <sighs> <laughs> We're the president, we don't have opinions. <laughs> the president, we can stomp on whoever we want. Yeah, but now at this the same time, this principle is starting to piss me off. Yeah, but yeah, we, but yeah, you, yeah, just encourage the girl to say, yeah, we need more people like you. Keep at it. Don't worry, you'll you'll get out of uh, middle school and go on to high school, and then they'll allow you to uh, play play with the chemistry sets and do, well, do stuff. Become a master seamstress. No, not necessarily. Yeah, she. Her grades are really good, so yeah, she can go to high school and she get her bachelor's in science. It'll be fine. She needs encouragement. She needs encouragement. Don't, don't, don't screw the man over in his own school. He's getting results. That's fine. She's yeah, got but what cost? Is that is that Kara Sierra? I mispronounced point out that you're raising soldiers, not students. Come on. We need to go number three. Just to be diplomatic. <laughs> because it, it, it's the middle road. It's, it's the third way. I, I don't like it, but I know you're just a <laughs> click away and I can feel your index finger trembling above the mouse button. So. There we go. we need good. more than words. We need action. Concrete action. We need to protect girls like this. Cameras flashed once again. I looked around the classroom and saw a large portrait of Colonel Sol. Don't say anything. Yeah. Because if we're going to go your route, I'd say number two. Because number three is going to encourage the military thing. Hmm. And number one is probably going to cause a scandal, according to your way of thinking. So, number two. Yeah. I don't think we dislike Tarquin's soul, do we? I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> don't say anything. He's one of the assholes who... Uh, well, he said he ended the Civil War. You know, he's brought stability. I mean... Yeah, but at the cost of what? Yeah, true. Well then, unfortunately, we are almost out of time. We have other meetings to attend to today. Thank you for the warm welcome. Mr. President, Lucian, please go ahead. I'd like to speak with your girl alone. Well, she's the Minister of Education, you know, it's... Thank you for the Very talk. Well. Very well. No, thank you for the talk. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, just be humble. Just be humble. Thank you for visiting our school, sir. He doesn't even have a name. He's just called Prince. Come on, class. One, two. All the students in the classroom yelled, but the boy whom I met was the loudest. Yeah, okay. Hey, God, what's going on? Oh. Man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. <laughs> I, I just want to say it. I just want to say do, it. Do you I mean, want to keep the indoctrination of keeping a nowadays? Well, out, if, if he out, makes a good general, if he useless. makes a good general, then who knows? Ugh. I don't know. I, I quite like to encourage just the boy. <laughs> encourage the upcoming general. Yeah. Boy soldier over here. You never know. He might be a good one. <laughs> After another round of photos, we departed. You disappoint me, Dave. I know. 
I, I should hang my head in shame. Um, yeah, you, you should. <laughs> but at the same all time... All the way down to your ankles. But at the same time, you know, you come to a place, you know, they're, they're learning how to read. I mean, honestly, right? Okay, so they got good results across the board, right? They got the mm-hmm. best thing. I mean, that, that don't question... The methodology and you know it's only a game <laughs> no, Romberg. it's more it's more than a game <gasps> oh queen beatrice livingston calls swordland a threat to world peace what based on what queen beatrice livingston appeared on tv and called swordland not just a threat to peace in eastern macopa but a threat to peace in the entire world she condemned the riots and the police violence in Swordland, also expressing her worries about the direction Swordland is headed. She urged the Rombergian army to secure the southern border, citing violent incidents in northern Swordland. Oh. Yeah. Where, 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 uh, oh dear. Where? Maybe it's because we might have encouraged <laughs> a bit of uh, nationalism. She doesn't like it. Um, we, you, <laughs> the whole sort post. President visits uh, school in Leren. A middle school in Leren uh, received a special visit from the President Rain and Minister of Education Ms. Wilder. Students and staff at Torren Hill School, one of the five most prestigious schools in East Thordland, welcomed the special visitors on Thursday morning. President Rain had expressed his wish to visit the successful Torren Hill School and spend the morning talking with staff and students, joining in with lessons and hosting questions and answer sessions with the students. Through his this visit, Torren Hill is delighted to have an opportunity to represent the fantastic job that all staff members have been doing. Assembly talks about prayer language. Ugh. Today, Kesaro Kibner, the leader of NFP, <coughs> has proposed the Swordish Prayer Language Act to the Assembly. The proposed bill aims to standardize the language of prayer to Swordish in the entire Sordland. In the entire Sordland? Yeah, I'm not so, really sure about the, the language there. In the entirety of Sordland? Or in... in hmm. Oh, well. Uh, prayer language has always been a controversial topic, as much of the religious ceremonies in the Berger region, where most of the British population resides, conducts their prayers in British. The proposal has caused heated discussions between the British MPs and NFP, resulting in Masun Leki, the leader of the independent MPs, leaving the assembly in protest. Okay. Well, do you think... Uh this education minister might have made a ruckus. Briefing on the proposal for education reform. Okay. We were still in Leren, staying at the modest guest house for state employees. Kyra set up a meeting with me and Lucian to go over her plans for education reform after our school visit. Lucian was seated across from me at the table going through documents Kyra entered the room. After the visit yesterday, I couldn't even sleep thinking about that little boy and girl. I have never been more sure of my intentions to reform our education system. I don't think I liked her education reform, though, did did we? I I thought it was just a bit too much. Uh, Lucian took off his reading glasses and put it on the table. If our current education system is basically creating child mindless soldiers, Mm. I would say reform is necessary. But at the same time, Terra, reform might cost money. (laughs) That is true. Let's have a look at the political overview. Uh, Is it the situation? Country overview. Um... Would it be economy or would it be welfare? 
Uh, I guess it depends on what you're looking for. Education. Uh, probably welfare, yeah. Uh, Healthcare, uh, in, um, inaccessible rural, rural education. Inconsistent curriculum, okay, so it does need... So, uh, then again though, I mean... Certain governments have caused serious inconsistencies in the curriculum taught in Swordland. Okay. Solist education. With schools and universities providing a solid understanding of our founding father, Tarquin Soul, our future citizens will be loyal subjects to the state. Yeah, but we don't want the military aspect of that. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, okay, let's let's see what she let's see what she has to say. Yeah. Exactly. Those students have to repeat the same solace propaganda every single day. They are being brainwashed at an age where their minds need to be free. On top of that, young girls are denied the same opportunity as boys. They are forced into the role of housewife before they even reach puberty. Nothing's changed since I went to school. Women like me, Lilias, yeah, even your wife, we have to study twice as hard to receive the same university education that you and Lucian took for granted. Hmm. Is that the kind of country you want your daughter to grow up in? Mr. President, we need to bring change. We need to free the minds of these young people. They are our future. What do we need to do for this education reform? Let's have a look. We need to keep politics out of the curriculum. Saul should only be viewed as a historical figure. Children shouldn't have to repeat his name every day. This is actively poisoning young bright minds. Instead of thinking for themselves, they're learning to take things at face value. We also need to ensure boys and girls receive the same instruction. Handcrafts like knitting and sewing should be taught to both sexes, not or not at all. Sorton's youth must be technically skilled and capable for the next decade. That wouldn't be possible with the amount of nationalistic indoctrination and narrow-minded thinking found in schools today. Either we raise a generation ready for the challenges of the future, or not. What would it be, Mr. President? What do you think, Lucian? <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's see what he thinks. He's, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, as much as I respect Colonel Soul, his time has passed. Now is our time. I do think this might be the first step of a larger plan. Let's, go. Let's do it. There we go. There we do. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. He's a good man. Good old You will not regret it. I will get to work immediately. Just make sure you teach him STEM subjects, yeah? Now, is the decision made? Let's move on. Very well. well. Okay. Kyra skimmed over her documents before continuing. Uh oh. After the budget increase, the minister quickly began formulating plans on how to effectively use the money. But before moving forward, the question of keeping education fully state funded or allowing for new private schools remains open. Uh. Uh, Talks about the benefits of allowing private schools, even though I personally kind of distrust them a little bit. I made my opinion clear. I'm against it. But it would give us additional funds for education while increasing competition. It would support our overall economic strategy of promoting a market economy. Okay, a few minutes of deliberation passed. We have enough money to improve education in Sorland. We do not need to complicate things further with a privatization incentive. So, what is your decision? I think if we went privatization, I know what's going to happen. It's going to increase the budget. Okay, so initial privatization to draw more funds. This should allow for more competition and quality. Keep education solely as a matter of the state. We need to prevent interference from private interests. But at the same time, if we're trying to shift to a market economy, yeah, it might. That help. is true. 
but it might also increase the risk of maybe having some extremist education. That's true. Things. That's true. Um, but... That also means that if we notice that maybe we can stamp it out before anything actually goes too far. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there will be safeguards against that type of thing, I'm sure. Um, but I do think we need to now, yeah, think about the budget. <laughs> we kind of do, yeah. It's a good thing we didn't raise the taxes on great big companies. Yeah, I mean, privatization, I mean, there's privatized schools everywhere, right? You know, there's... Yeah, it, I mean, it, it it does in the long run maybe widen the gap between rich and poor. Um, and also maybe bring in some, some parts of education that might be frowned upon in general. Perhaps. But at the same time... Because, as it says in option two, we need to prevent the interference from private interests. Yeah. But because, so having, yeah. because having a private school on uh, uh, kind of... Um, how should I put it? One of our neighboring countries could, through, through uh, proxies, open mm. a school in our country and... Potentially, oh, yeah. Isn't that bad, actually? You could, well, you could end up with a, um, a what do you call it, a Confucius Institute. <laughs> um, uh, but at the same time, I mean, a collective of ideas, market economy, it, it could be a good thing. So we're going number one, then? I... I for the whole kind of, they said that it would be okay for funds. I think maybe. Um, even though, I mean, my head says one, but my my heart maybe says two. Yeah, I'm actually on the exact same wavelength as you are right now, for once. <laughs> <laughs> shall we go one? Shall shall we game game this? <sighs> We do need some sort of uh, vitamin boost into our budget, and hopefully a privatization of at least some of the schools might help with that. C could well do. Let's do it. Well, do. That should be it for now. I will uh, get to work and report back later. This has been a very productive day. I will be returning to Holtzord. Thank you for your time. We dispersed after spending nearly an entire day together. I took a moment simply to breathe the fresh evening air of Lyran. I felt calmer here somehow, but I would have to return to the chaos of Holsword soon enough. Well, right. I think that's education reform done. Look at that. Uh, improved working conditions. Education gap. What's that? Education system has become privatized, leading to yeah, an educational gap between the rich and the poor. Educa I knew that was going to happen, but something had to give. Well, but at least we're down to a budget minus two, so yeah. So if we so if we would have taxed the great companies, we would be at budget zero now. Just saying. That's true, but we could have faced an unemployment crisis, but. Shall we go for, for one more hour? Uh, yeah, I do need a quick uh, break, though. Yeah, me too. See you on the next one, everybody. Goodbye now. <laughs>